Welcome, my name is Adrian and I'm a radiation therapist at the Bendigo Radiotherapy Centre, operated by Peter Mac. In this video, I'll be providing you with some information on what radiotherapy is, how it works, and what to expect for your appointments with us. If you'll come with me, I'll take you for a brief tour around the department. Throughout your radiation therapy journey, you may meet many different types of healthcare professionals who will work together as a team to deliver your care. These include your radiation oncologists, radiation therapists, radiation therapy nurses, medical physicists, and clerical staff. Prior to beginning your radiation therapy treatment, you will have a consultation with your radiation oncologist. Your radiation oncologist will review your full medical history including pathology results and scans and may also perform a physical examination. After consulting with other health professionals, they will then provide you with and explain your treatment options at a scheduled appointment time. We encourage you to take this opportunity to ask questions and clarify any aspects of the treatment that may be unclear to you. Radiation therapy is one option in the treatment of cancer. It can be used alone or alongside chemotherapy and surgery. Radiation therapy is the use of powerful X-ray radiation to kill cancer cells by damaging their DNA. As a result, the cancer cells are unable to divide and grow, and so the cancer cells die. Radiation can also damage healthy cells. However, healthy cells are able to repair themselves more than cancer cells. Unlike chemotherapy, which can affect the entire body, radiation therapy will only affect the parts of your body directly surrounding the treatment area. Before your first treatment appointment, you may be scheduled to have a planning CT scan. This CT appointment is not intended to provide additional information about your diagnosis. The scan will provide us with valuable information to create your individual treatment plan. You will be scanned lying on your back in a reasonably comfortable and stable position with your arms raised above your head. It is important that you're in a comfortable position during your CT scan as this will help you to maintain the same position every day for your treatment. The radiation therapists may use a range of equipment to keep you in position and will use lasers in the room to ensure you are lined up straight on the bed. The equipment used to stabilize you is customizable to each individual and can vary based on your radiation oncologist's requirements. Once the radiation therapists are happy with your position, they will perform your CT scan and take some measurements. You may receive very small permanent tattoo marks, smaller than a freckle, to help reproduce your position every day on treatment. Depending on your anatomy, you are likely to receive two tattoos on your front and two on each side. The tattoos on the opposite side to your treatment side will ensure you are rotated correctly every day for your treatment. Now that you've had your planning CT scan, your radiation oncologist and a radiation therapist will review a scan to create a plan specific to your anatomy and treatment area. Your radiation oncologist will identify and outline on the CT scan the areas that need to be treated, known as a target volume, and also the areas that need to be avoided. The radiation therapists take precautions to focus dose to the target while minimizing and limiting any dose received by the surrounding healthy organs, such as your lungs and for left-sided treatments, the heart. The radiation therapist will then plan your treatment on a computer planning system, which allows them to focus dose to the target using radiation beams from multiple angles and limit any dose to the surrounding healthy organs. In this image, we are treating a right breast. You can see the target volume for treatment is colored in green and red. This means that it is receiving a high dose of radiation and the dose to the surrounding organs can be seen in blue. This means that the normal tissues are receiving very little to no dose of radiation. The treatment beams for a breast or chest wall are typically in the following arrangement to allow us to treat your entire breast or chest wall while minimizing dose to normal tissue. If your radiation oncologist has prescribed treatment to your lymph nodes, your treatment will require additional beams. These beams may treat from directly above you and sometimes can treat from behind you. In some cases, the doctor may also want to give a boost of radiation to where the tumour was located and or 
to the scar at the end of your breast treatment. This may involve attaching an accessory to the machine, which will be used to deliver a less powerful beam to the area. For some patients receiving radiotherapy to the left breast, the radiation oncologist may also prescribe a technique called deep inspiration breath hold. This technique involves holding your breath for each radiation beam that is delivered, allowing your lungs to be filled with air and shifting your heart away from your chest wall. This can help to reduce radiation dose to the heart. There are many ways to minimize dose to the heart and this is one technique that is appropriate for some patients. Your radiation oncologist will inform you if this technique is suitable for you. If you are treated with this technique, at your CT scan, a normal breathing trace will be taken and then a radiation therapist will coach you through a breath hold. Sometimes, both a normal breathing scan and a breath hold scan will be taken to determine whether the deep inspiration breath hold will be beneficial for you. During treatment, you may be required to hold your breath for up to 20 seconds while the radiation treatment is being delivered. The radiation therapists will coach you throughout the breathing process and the radiation beam will only turn on once you have taken a deep breath in. Once your plan has been approved by your radiation oncologist, the final plan is reviewed and checked by the radiation therapy and medical physics team before it is used for your treatment. The time between the planning CT scan appointment and your first treatment appointment can vary depending on how complex your treatment plan is. On your first day of treatment, a radiation therapist will explain the treatment process to you and your family. Your first treatment appointment will be your longest. Extra measurements will be taken to ensure that everything has been prepared accurately from the planning phase. In most cases, after the first day, you can expect your treatment appointment to take between 15 to 20 minutes. The radiation itself will typically only be on for one to five minutes in total. The rest of your appointment time will be spent in the room with the radiation therapists, setting you up appropriately This machine is called a linear accelerator. It will deliver your treatment using electricity to create strong and powerful X-ray radiation to target the area your radiation oncologist wishes to treat. The machine will move around you to best deliver the treatment from different angles, and it may come close, but it won't touch you. The treatment is painless, and you will not see or feel anything when the radiation is on, but you may hear a noise from the machine. Radiation is only produced when the machine is turned on. This means that once the machine is turned off, there is no radiation present either within yourself or in the room. At a treatment session, you will be shown into the treatment room and you will lie down in the same position you were in for your planning CT scan. There will always be two radiation therapists performing your treatment. They will use the in-room lasers measurements, and the tattoo marks placed on your skin to assess your position on a daily basis. The radiation therapists will move you as you lay on the bed to get you in the exact same position. Once your radiation therapists are happy with your position, they will leave the room to deliver the treatment from outside. Your radiation therapists will be in the control room during your treatment. They have cameras and microphones available so they can see you and hear you at all times. The radiation therapists can also talk to you if needed. If you need anything whilst the treatment is underway, please stay still and call out. Before your treatment is delivered, it may be necessary to take an x-ray image of your position. The machine has large arms that extend from the sides to take an x-ray image. The images taken of you at treatment will be compared with an image taken from your CT scan to correct for small changes in your position. These images are taken on the first day for every patient and may be taken each day or every few days depending on your treatment area. This ensures we are delivering your treatment to the intended area as accurately as possible. Once these images have been taken, you may feel the treatment bed move underneath you to fine tune your position based on the images taken. Even though the treatment staff are outside the room, they are still in control of the machine during your treatment. During your treatment, several parts of the machine can move around you. The main part of the machine that will move around you is called the gantry. 
The machine will move to the appropriate angles and stop to deliver the treatment. The X-rays are delivered from this part of the linear accelerator and uses metal shielding to precisely shape the X-rays specifically for your treatment. In the bottom left hand corner, you can see the different shapes being created by the shielding. In this example, the target is red and the lungs and heart are displayed by other colours. As you can see, the shielding surrounds the target area and protects as much of the healthy organs as possible. If you would like to know more about which technique is being used for your treatment, please ask a radiation therapist. On the first and last day of treatment, you will have an appointment with our nursing team to go through the best way to look after yourself during and after treatment. The nurses will meet with you during the course of treatment to see how you're going and to help you manage any side effects. Your radiation oncologist may meet with you during the course of your treatment. This is an opportunity to make sure any side effects are being managed properly and you are still fit and healthy during your treatment. It also gives you and your family an opportunity to ask any questions that you may have. To minimise side effects, care begins on the first day of treatment and continues for at least three weeks after finishing your treatment. Typical side effects from radiotherapy to the breast area can include fatigue, which is the most common side effect of radiotherapy. Treatment related fatigue generally begins within two to three weeks of starting radiotherapy. It can take a few weeks after finishing treatment for energy levels to return to normal. It is important to take care of your skin throughout your treatment as radiotherapy can cause some redness and dryness to the skin that is being treated. It is important to be aware of sun sensitivity during treatment and always take precautions when going outside, which includes wearing protective clothing. Whilst uncommon, you may also experience some pain or discomfort in your treatment area. If you are experiencing any of these side effects, please seek advice from your radiation oncologist or nursing staff. At the Bendigo Radiotherapy Centre, we also have a team of allied health professionals that can help to support you during your treatment. These include physiotherapists, occupational therapists, social workers, dietitians, and a speech pathologist. Not everyone will require these services and your radiation oncologist, nurses, or a radiation therapist will refer you to these services as you need them. We also offer Cancer Council education workshops, fatigue management sessions, and quit smoking consultations for additional support. Before the conclusion of your treatment, your radiation oncologist will discuss whether you require any follow-up appointments. You may have follow-up appointments with some or all of the following. Your radiation oncologist, medical oncologist, surgeon, or GP. On the last day of treatment, the nursing team will also discuss options for continuing support for you after your treatment has finished. Um, a lot, lot more pleasant than what I expected it to be um, because basically you're just lying down in the, in the machine still and um, you can't feel anything. Um, and then you're done. I've got a third the way to go, so so far it hasn't tired me out at all. So I'm pretty pleased with that. <laughs> like I said, I've been really lucky. I haven't had any side effects at all, and um, I've been able to, you know, continue um, before I come and when I get home, being a mum and working and that kind of stuff. So it's been it hasn't, apart from the travel, that's probably the only thing that's put a bit of a dent in my day. Anything new is always a little bit scary if you don't know what you're going into, um, but you know, the great staff and the people that are around you, you know, are very comforting with questions that need to be answered. Um, if, you've got, if you want to know what's going to be happening, they've, my kids have come in, they've told them what's happening during radiation, all that kind of stuff. So it's, the experience has, um, it's actually been quite a nice experience for something that you have to have done as cancer treatment. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask your radiation therapist, 
a nurse or your radiation oncologist.